I'm here with Brian Danielson, the recipient of the Courageous Athlete Award. How did you first get involved in the Brainiac Bash? Uh, it's mostly because of my wife's uh, mother. And so she had uh, some issues and then she introduced me to the whole thing. Yeah. And how does it feel to play a supportive wife this evening? Oh my gosh, I love it. Last year I was a supportive daughter. This year I get to be a supportive wife, so it feels good. Nice. Now, we've all been impacted in one way or another by brain injury, brain disease, brain health. What personally does it mean for you guys to be here tonight supporting in 2023? Well, so I just think it's, it's wonderful to support uh, the Brain Injury Alliance because people with brain injuries need support and they need help and they need honest feedback as far as what they should be doing. I, when I first got concussions, I had no idea what to do. There was no awareness around it and bringing awareness to some of these things and especially for, for me, like as a younger athlete, I just didn't know. Yeah. And so spreading awareness to me is one of the most important things we can do, and especially in regard to the concussions and that sort of thing. Well, I really appreciate the athletes that come forward and uh, get vulnerable with us because I, especially among men sometimes, I feel like we want to be tough, we, nothing's wrong with us, we're super tough. So for you to be a beacon of hope in so many ways for young men, uh, I think that's just really great. I see you nodding your head over here. What are your thoughts? No, I agree. I think sometimes we think courage means not to say anything, that being brave Brave means like keeping it all in and it's the opposite so it's a beautiful thing when you have these athletes that are high profile in the public eye and they actually admit to concussions not feeling good needing yeah. help and I think that's a very courageous thing but I would also like to say one thing that it's hard for men to do that if they don't have support at home and so Bree was actually the one who was like, hey, uh, at one of my concussions, you need to tell the doctor what's actually going on. Because I was I was scared. I was like, is my career gonna be taken away from me? Is this gonna, like all that kind of stuff. And she, having somebody that's that supportive and reminds you what's most important yeah. is, uh, is you can't put put a price on that. Well, hey, in the game, you're a beast. Outside of the game, in this game of life, you're a beast. And I'm just glad you're here and we can honor you. So oh, thank, thank you. you very much. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you.